Hello friends, I am Virbhadraya Demaya from VBSM Academy, a school of arts and science, a mission with a vision to the students who are belonging to the rural Karnataka, Kale Matu Vignana Shale Suswagata. Our today's lesson is on microorganisms. Come on friends, let us have a brief look, a brief view on microorganisms. You know, microorganisms, micro means tiny, small, very, very small. Even the naked eye cannot see microbes, microorganisms. To see the function and activities of the microorganisms, one should need a sophisticated electron microscope. Even ordinary microscope is not able to see the microbes. The sophisticated instrument like uh, electron microscope can see such microorganisms. Come on friends, chapter 2 of 8th standard. NCLT syllabus students and it is also helpful for the students who are interested to know the microbes and the world of microbes. Chapter 2 tells about the microorganisms, a friend and foe. Come on friends, uh, let us have the classification of microorganisms. Microorganisms are uh, having a broad spectrum of uh, classification, uh, protozoa fungi, bacteria, viruses. The classification of microorganisms are very important because millions of millions of microorganisms are there in the universe. Protozoans, fungi, plural form of fungal, bacteria and viruses. Come on, let us have a brief explanation and discussion about protozoa, how they appear, how they are having their own functions in the human race. So my dear friends, microorganisms is present in both the living organisms like plants and animal kingdom in both botany as well as in zoology. So friends, come on, let's have a discussion about microorganisms. The first one is uh, protozoa. What is protozoa? Protozoa are single celled organisms. They come in many different shapes and sizes ranging from an amoeba which can change its shape to paramecium with its fixed shape and complex structure. They live in a wide variety of moist habits including fresh butter, marine environments and the soil. So protozoans are present in water, stagnant water, even crystal clear water, marine environments, oceans and seas and oceans of the planet Earth and the soil of the planet Earth. So in these fields, microorganisms, protozoans, which are present and they are having a complex structure. If you observe, the world of microbes, you can see, all are microscopic in nature. So next we will pass on to the fungi. A fungus, plural form of fungus is fungi or funguses. Is any member of the group of uh, eukaryotic organisms that includes microorganisms such as yeast and molds. Today, 
we come across the white fungus, black fungus, yellow fungus, and the danger zone of corona we come across in the everyday news. So, my dear friends, the science is wonderful. So, you can study the fungus, how they are danger to the health conditions of the human beings or the living organisms. So, the group of eukaryotic organisms that includes microorganisms such as yeast. You know, my dear friends, sometimes yeast is also a fungus, but it is useful. Yeast is responsible for the development of curds and all. That is another study. So, characteristic that places fungi in different kingdom from plants, bacteria and some protists is chitin in their cell walls. This is all about the fungi. You see, observe the fungi, especially the these things you can see in the slides, mushroom development, how they will develop the mushrooms which are considered to be the macro, of course there comes under the microscopic organisms, macro. Well virus, virus means today since two years the whole world is fear about virus, infection of virus like corona, COVID-19. What is virus? A virus is a sub-microscopic infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cells of an organism. Viruses infect all types of life forms from animals and plants to microorganisms including bacteria and archaea. So in the microorganisms, virus is a dangerous thing. Actually, virus is a non-living organism. But as soon as it contact with the living tissue, human beings, immediately it acquires life. That is the nature of the virus. As soon as the virus acquires living organisms enter into the nostril of the respiratory organ, it gets life and it multiplies in millions of millions of viruses. That is the virus, for example, coronavirus, COVID-19 is responsible for the pandemic virus. So be cautious, use mask, keep social distance and sanitize your hands periodically using soap solution. So this is all about the virus today. Everybody knows about the virus that is uh, COVID-19, Corona virus. Detailed study we will discuss later. Next coming to the bacteria or the small single celled organisms. Bacteria are found almost everywhere on Earth, on the planet Earth and are vital to planet's ecosystems. Some species can live under extreme conditions of temperature and pressure. The human body is full of bacteria and in fact is estimated to contain more bacterial cells than human cells. So these are the bacterial cells you can see in the Reviation Academy slides which are all microscopic in nature. The bacteria also causes dangerous things to the human race as well as the living organism. So my dear friends, bacteria 
as I told you, are small single cell organisms which can be seen through the powerful electron microscope. This is COVID-19 virus seen in the electron microscope which is responsible for the pandemic in nature. So be cautious with this I am going to stop my transmission through VVSM Academy Farm House Gopanahali. Thank you for listening. Like, share and subscribe. Any doubts, please call me back to Virabhadraya Demaya, Farm House Gopanahali, Bangalore and contact me and your doubts can be cleared by WhatsApp to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Take care. Dhanyavadagadu. Birabhadraya Demaya. Go open a heli.